Riley Green has been really good for them. Way back in right center and gone. You go 1-1 one, one in the draft, you're a special talent. A moonshot up the bat of Spencer Torkelson. All eyes are on him. He's the most athletic player on the Tigers roster. Makes a catch. Robbed him of a home run. Elite power bat. It's number 30 for Spencer Torkelson. As he goes, the Tigers go. He's got the it factor. I mean, this guy's got tremendous power. Way back and right. Go Riley Green and Spencer Torkelson in the building. Let's go. What a this thrill. Is big. Good morning to both of you. Thanks for being here. No, thank you guys. The Tigers' first 3 0 start since 2016. We were talking earlier. It's kind of like a beautiful grind, a complete team win, right? This past weekend. What'd you learn about your team, Riley? I'll start with you. It felt good. Um, I mean, 3 0 to start the season is awesome. You know, the boys never give up. We were down, I think, three runs to one of the games, and we came back and mm-hmm. You know, put some hits together, and you know we won seven to six, I think. So that was an awesome win. I, I, w- I want to ask you: Do you guys kind of your division's gettable? And I think there's a lot of people, the, the pundits out there, like you're a sneaky pick. Your rotation's deep, good stuff, lineups sparky. Like, are you guys buying in to kind of what people are saying about you coming out of spring? Like, I think last year was like learning year for everyone involved. I think this year it's like you look like you're ready to rock. You finish strong. You look like you're becoming one of the best hitters in the game. Like take me through the mindset going into this season. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like it's not it's not what people are saying about us. Um, it's more of like the internal belief that we have in each guy on the team. Um, the hitters believe in the pitching staff. The pitching staff believes in the hitters. The, de- the defense, I mean, I think it's just a, a team effort that uh, that we all just believe in each other. Riley, what makes up a good clubhouse, in your opinion? Uh, The big thing for me is team chemistry, and I feel like we got it. You know, we go to dinner all the time. You know, flights are electric. Bus rides are electric. So I feel like we have that team chemistry that really brings us together. Is it cards on a plane? What what are we doing? Yeah, liars, dice, cards. Let's do the home run celebration. Yeah, let's. Who get came it. up with it? I, I love what it. What are we doing, you Spencer? Did? I mean, Torque that's did. you. Yeah. Torque did. Uh, okay, yeah. tell us uh, how did it come to you? Uh, give, give us the whole thing. So last year, Selly was pretty. It was pretty awesome. I thought it was. I thought that was a good one. Um, but the, figured we had to change it up. Um, it's the, the wing Selly's not dead yet. Yeah. Um, it can still. Yeah, this back. is last year. Yeah. With the can, hockey celebration, Red Wings. It all works together. Yeah. Uh, and then Mark Canna goes deep. <laughs> and then you guys unveil what might be the most inventive celebration. I mean, where do you get that? <laughs> obviously, an ode and a tip of the cap to Little Caesars. Five dollar hot and ready. That's Have you right. had them? Pizza pizza. Oh yeah. It's amazing. Tell them. You love them. I've They're, never had love Don't Caesars say that. I hate that statement. Never had Little Caesars in your life. I mean, the breadsticks, Riley. <laughs> I mean, I don't have to tell you. Incredible. Incredible. Spencer. Now, I, I mean, now I see the pizzas are a little droopy. Who's in charge? <laughs> who's, in, who's in charge of the of the care and maintenance of the pizzas? Is that, uh, is that, that a clubby? That's probably yeah. Yeah, that's it's not a hero or a okay. head clubby. All right. Um, but I hit up uh, a guy named Ben in our organization, and I was like, Hey, is there any chance we can get you know the pizza pizza guys <laughs> stick with the pizzas on it? And uh, he didn't disappoint. Um, I think. I heard somebody murmur that was uh, in a commercial shoot, so. I love it, really good. Robert, Robert talked about good chemistry and I was at camp with you guys and I remember AJ having discussions with guys and telling them things that they wanted to hear and not wanted to hear. And you talked about that. When you manage Team USA, it's honest conversations and that gets your team the furthest. Do you agree with that statement? Yeah, 100%. Um, you know, I feel like I just feel like as a team, if we're all honest with each other, we have yeah. each other's back. I saw that. You know, it goes a long way. Take me inside your off season where you guys are doing things a little so much differently. Was there one thing you wanted to work on? You said you were a football player. Was there something you wanted to work on, clean up your swing or workout routine wise that you learned about yourself last year that you wanted to bring into this season to get through 162? Uh, nothing crazy about my swing r- rather than just more reps and be as consistent yeah. as possible with it. Um, with my body, it's, um, I played 159 games last year. So I know. I wasn't, um, you were tired, mentally, I was, yeah, physically. I was tired, so I took a couple weeks off out of the weight room, got back in, and then uh, it was really just, 
how do I stay durable and strong and you know use my power efficiently? You've Are, been in the weight room because Scott Harris was talking about how that can insulate anyone from injury. What was your off-season routine, nutrition too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got with a new guy this off-season. Okay. Um, his name's Ben De La Cruz. He was awesome. He was awesome. Um, super smart. You know, I had some problems with my lower legs. You know, fixed that up, got more flexible, and you know, I was in Lakeland a lot rehabbing. So my goal was just to get healthy. Uh, Spencer, uh, D. Rowe talked about the rotation. Yeah. And Tarek Skubal, I mean, Looked awesome. Awesome. goodness Dog. gracious. Uh, Jack Flaherty threw the ball well. What does that mean to get performances like that from multiple people in the rotation? Gosh, it means everything. You know, it starts with starts with the guy on the bump, and I think we got a lot of guys out there that can put up some serious numbers for us. Um, I think we got a good defense behind him, and then we got an offense that can then put up runs. I don't know how that guy gets hit. I it's mean, nasty. I've seen him in lives. It's it's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> left on left, it's not fun. <laughs> Riley, what did you see from uh, Jack Flaherty? He was good. I was on. Um, I was DHing for that one, and I was I was watching a lot of it. Uh, he looked really good. Heater looked good. Slider looked good. You know, he just had just had that presence on the mound, and I was like, we're winning this game. Tell them about weather in the Northeast because oh. they're going to get a heavy yeah. dose of it. You don't want it. Like, well, you don't want an off day in New York. No, not right now. You get trapped in that hotel. Yeah. I mean, there's, mean? there's yeah. snow in the forecast for Thursday. Thursday, for we sake. saw that. It's ridiculous. Good enough. But, but what did he say before we came out? He said, let's, play two. let's play two right now. That's it. That's it. Uh, Spencer, I believe this is your first time. Is this both of you guys' first time here in studio? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Riley, however, is very used to some hard-hitting questions that, you know, us as journalists. Oh, my gosh. I remember that. Yeah. Let, let's take it's a look at... Um, at uh, Riley's experience with the hard-hitting questions by some of our MLB Network hosts. Hey, Riley, uh, I, I got one question I've been wondering forever. Following you on the draft boards all the way through everything, is there a meaning to the name Riley? Um, I think my parents um, found it in like a cartoon or something. I don't <laughs> really know which one, but I think it was a cartoon. All right, I just had to know that. I've been wondering that. Hey, all Riley, Her right. Harold has, asked, dive back he into has baseball. asked some doozy questions over the years. Uh, we're going to put that on the uh, end of the year highlight reel. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah. If you're not here, we'll make fun of you. That's right. Hey, uh, my youngest <laughs> son's name is Riley. Allowed. So, okay. Yeah. She's not allowed. Hey, what would you eat for breakfast? A really bad breakfast burrito. <sighs> Really? Really? Yeah, not good. Where was it from like here? No. <laughs> oh my God. No. I was just I wondering. I can't say, name the place, but it was okay. not good. Okay. All right. 